Uh, that's fine. So what does Foghat uh, tell us? Slow ride, take it easy. Slow ride, take it easy. And, and here I just want to come back to the speeds we were just talking about. Uh, I want you to think in your mind what proportion of urban customers don't have access to 25.3? Not 10.1, but 25.3. What percent don't have 25.3? Think of that number in your mind, okay? It's 4%. 96% of urban customers have access to 25.3. Now, of course, the rural number is nowhere near that. But that, I think, is the concern when we've got an FCC who really appears to be focused, not entirely, but largely on a 10.1 standard. 10.1 seems slow today when the rest of the country has 25.3. Now, Nielsen's law says that you know, bandwidths that are available to end users you know, increases by 50% every year. And it's been remarkably stable over the course of the last 30 years, that's been true. So if Nielsen's law holds true at the end of the model term, when we're still talking about 10-1, okay, 25-3 for some, 4-1 for some, but largely 10-1, if Nielsen's law holds true, the urban uh, national average is going to be 961 megabits per second. 10-1 is going to seem pretty laughably slow. The reason this is important is that I think rock and roll is telling us that to a certain extent we're going to continue to need to do what the rural industry has always done, which is aggressively deploy infrastructure and aggressively deploy speeds, even above and beyond what maybe the regulators are asking for uh, or mandating, because clearly I mean, the, the market desires more. Uh, for cooperatives, the member owners are asking for more, uh, and really for all you know, independent telcos, I mean, they're really uh, community-focused, and, uh, and I think that's going to have a big impact on speeds.